All right, hello and welcome to a quick little video of how you can import your files from Fusion 360 into the simulator here. Uh, now, currently, we only have it set up to where you have to use a specific uh, add-on for Fusion uh, to get it working, and it only works for Fusion. Uh, but eventually, there'll be a system to where you can import any URDF file into the uh, simulator here. Uh, but for right now, let's go through the steps that you can go through to import your robots from Fusion. Uh, so it's actually syncs uh, pretty simple steps here. Uh, the first one will be to download the add-on. Uh, so you'll click add new here. Uh, and then in here, you can see that there's a link to the exporter here. Uh, or if you go all the way back to the beginning here, uh, under the download section, you'll also find a link to it here. And that should open up and then you'll be able to uh, download it. Uh, and so it looks something like this. And of course, you can go up here, click code, you can either open with GitHub Desktop, which is what I have, or you can download the zip and then unzip it, and then you'll be able to use it. Alright, so now heading over to Fusion 360 here, we'll want to add on the add-in, that's <laughs> complicated to say, but you can see we actually have this robot here that we're going to test the add-on for. Uh, so the first thing that you'll do is you'll head over to Utilities, click on Add-ins, and then right here you click this plus button, and then you'll find the folder in which you've downloaded from the uh, the, the GitHub site. Uh, so for me, I already have it uh, linked up here, the uh, Unity exporter here. Uh, but before we run it, uh, we'll want to do a few just kind of measures to make sure that our robot is up and ready to go. You can see actually one thing that I did here before starting is that I've actually already linked up all of the joints that this robot will have. Uh, and this is very important because the exporter will essentially need all of the joint info here. Uh, and another important thing to notice here is that I also have these rigid joints, which will connect all of these pieces together, as you can see here. So everything is all jointed up. You can see each of the wheels all have their own joints. Uh, you could also have linear joints, things like that. You can see this actually kind of a complicated joint system here, uh, but it should work fine. Um, and then another kind of thing, let me look at my list here, joint up your robot, uh, optional you can remove the small bits of the robot, so you can see that there's a lot of screws here, and essentially that's just going to be very complicated for the simulator to be able to handle. And so then what you can do is you can either remove them now and just get rid of all the screws, or the exporter that I have installed should be able to just remove the screws for me, uh, so that's why it's always optional. And so the fourth step here is to finally run the exporter. So you have it installed here, you clicked on the folder, you open it up, you run it. This is some little stuff here. Um, th this is also very important. Make sure that for four bar parallel lifts that you have joints on both sides of it. Uh, this is of course important because we are physically simulating it in the simulator. And if you don't have that, then the, the joints will only be supporting on one side. Uh, but anyways, let's hit OK. Uh, so this first step here will actually be selecting the wheels. Now you don't need to select the whole part of the wheel uh, because these are actually set up in a rigid group so they should be stuck together. Uh, so I can select on them all like this. Uh, and this is just uh, a little a little system that's in place to make sure that uh, we're not importing just wheels uh, into the uh, simulator and instead we're importing our own wheels to make to make just all the physics run a lot smoother. The next step here will be to select the location that'll store the files in. I have this temporary folder here and you can see I've already tested it but I will uh, select this temporary folder again uh, and then it'll just start this process <laughs> using some cool camera zooms uh, but that actually has a practical effect in the actual code. But you can see that this process will go. Uh, it'll actually be a, a pretty quick process as it'll be able to pretty much link everything up and, and be able to export all of the meshes into the actual simulator. And there we go, as quick as that. Well, there, there may have been a, a cut in the video, uh, but you can see that it's now actually finished. And so now, if we, uh, you can see at the end here, it'll just reset the file to go back to its original state. You know, just kind of a, a, a little word of warning to save before running it, but you will have a pop-up that'll ask you to save it beforehand. Uh, but now you can head on over back here and click on Custom Configurations. And then if we simply load it up here, uh, you can see that if you click add new and then import CAD files and then import robot files and then you can see it's already actually open but in the folder here uh, you can see all of the files that the simulator wants and needs for it to run. So I'll click this and I'll just click open and you can see immediately the wheels load in, this is our own custom wheels and then all of the meshes load in. And another uh, kind of cool thing that it does is it creates its own uh, collision geometry uh, which will be useful for the collision of all of the 
pieces of this robot here. And so now you can go through the whole process here, which will be in the next video uh, under the how to use. It'll be this guide next configure robot on how to go to the next step of actually linking up your whole robot to actually work in this simulator. So I will uh, see you then.